Hey everyone, today we are back with the next part of Envy and all the juicy drama that comes with it. And the last one, we followed James to a cemetery, which is a little scary and a little creepy on our part, but we were seeing what he was doing because obviously we're curious and interested him about him, but unfortunately we were caught at the very end, so now we have to face our awkward consequences. So that's going to be wild, so we have to see what happens with all that. Go watch the other ones if you haven't already, and let's just jump right into this without enough of me rambling. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe if you aren't already, and let's start the drama. Why were you following me? Oh, this is so awkward. What do we say? Just, I saw you drive past me. I don't know. I saw you driving past me while I was walking home from school. That's so awkward. Didn't you see me? <laughs> I saw you. Weren't you wearing your school uniform, though? Oh, but wait. Maybe this little outfit really got him going. <laughs> I might have changed. Oh, you are look nice. Congratulations, James. Is distracted from his anger by your appearance. We were looking cute. He wasn't ready for that. Thank you. At least, oh, look at him with his striking blue eyes. I love blue eyes. So why did you follow me? Ooh, I was curious if there was a coincidence. Um, okay. It's completely not gonna go over well if we say it's a coincidence. How are we just gonna randomly show up in a cemetery? So just, I was curious. We might as well. I was curious. Is, is he gonna be okay with it? Ooh, ooh, his tattoo's like poking out. That's so hot. You climb roofs and run after cars. I didn't run after your, well... <laughs> We didn't have to run. We actually were dropped off here by Jazz, but that's beside the point. Oh, he's... Okay, 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 this is good. Ha! Ah, we're all laughing, having a good time. Who's Joy? Oh my gosh, she went straight into that. She's my sister. Okay, so his sister passed away. We have a clue. Was. She was my sister. I'm sorry, or I'm here if you want to talk. Let's do that one. Like, let's just be nice, but like also try to get the tea out of him. I'm here if you want to talk. I was in New York when it happened. Okay, so we're getting a flashback of what happened. Joy had always been a quiet girl growing up. She loved reading and always had her nose in some book. She had one good friend and classmate, Zahara. I don't know why I didn't notice that she didn't really have other friends. Zahara moved away to Texas in 2014 when her father was transferred there for his work. So I know that Joy was very upset about Zahara moving away. I always thought that she would make new friends, though. After all, it was easy to make friends at school, right? Oh, no. At least it was for me. Well, I moved to Queens, New York that same year to study criminal justice at a university there. I didn't see much of my family that year or the next. The classes and coursework kept me busy. I did call home on weekends, though, just to say hi and catch up on how my parents and Joy were doing. Joy always said that she was fine. Oh, I bet. I wonder if she was bullied or something. I really believe that she was fine. She committed suicide in June 2016. Oh, that's so sad. That's so oh, I'm so sorry. That poor thing. Afterwards, we found out that she was being bullied by a group of girls at school. Yeah, I... Of course. Like, cheerleaders. Oh, dear. Popular girls who picked on people who were less popular. Oh, people who were different. Uh, what is that smell? It's the smell of desperation. Girl, with desperate is you two. Just when we thought she couldn't get any more pathetic. Why doesn't she talk? Maybe she's stupid. She must be stupid. She looks stupid. Oh, you're such a loser. You're worthless. You should go kill yourself. Oh my gosh. People are so vicious and mean. It's like every time someone says, it's like, oh my gosh, stop. I don't even know why I'm telling you all this. Girls like you would never understand. Girls like us. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Girls like me. You're a cheerleader, aren't you? I've seen you walk home with your pom-poms. Okay, like, I get that Jim's, like, upset, and, like, I understand where he's coming from, because obviously, like, a group of cheer, like, mean cheerleaders bullied his sister, and she unfortunately committed suicide, but not everyone is like that, like, so... Why he sometimes is so cold and hostile, I was the embodiment of the kind of girl he hated most. On the bright side, though, okay, like, our character, from what we've seen in the story, unless I'm mistaken, she's really, really nice. Like, yeah, she's the popular girl and, like, head cheerleader, but... She's also really nice to everybody, so the kind who drove his sister to kill herself. I'm not like that or you don't know me. You Like, you don't know me. I don't want to, like, I'm just going to say you don't know me because, like, honestly, I'm going to defend myself a little bit. I know he's having a moment, but you don't know me. So, like, you can't have that judgment, whatever. Like, you can't, I couldn't blame him for being like this, that's true. I couldn't even begin to imagine the kind of hell his family had gone through, must still be going through. It hurts to see him so sad. I should change the subject. 
James, you mentioned that you studied in Queens. Yeah, criminal justice. And my girlfriend at the time. Girlfriend? Never mind. I was a different person. Well, he said girlfriend then. So now, let's hope he's single. But I'd really like to hear it. I mean, unless you like to hear about it. Okay, choosing it will improve our relationship with James. Let's go for it. Like, I can't not improve our relationship. Let's go for it. I would love to hear what it was like. Ooh, he's all happy now telling us. Queens is actually my favorite borough in New York City. Sure, it's not as glamorous as Manhattan or as cool as Brooklyn, but it's gritty, diverse, and real. But I was studying criminal justice at St. John's University. It's also where I met Chloe. Okay, so this must be his, like, ex-girlfriend, I'm assuming. Let's hope it's ex. Chloe was French and very, er, passionate. I don't really remember what we used to talk about. Oh, it's possible that was because we didn't talk a lot, actually. Okay, James, that all changed the day that Joy died. What did she do? Oh, probably he's... Why is she so upset? Have you been drinking? Oh, no. Poor thing. I've been trying to call you the whole day. Why don't you answer my calls? I can't believe I had to look for you at the campus bar. I, I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm sorry. I'm gonna butcher that, so I'm not gonna try. I understand it's horrible what happened. Please, leave me alone. Okay, but you shouldn't be alone like that. Oh, and he left. I didn't want to be with anybody. I didn't want to talk about my feelings. I broke up with her that day and hadn't dated anyone else ever since. You pushed her out of your life. I guess I did. I mean, I was in so much pain that I distanced myself from everyone. It's understandable. Like, he went through a lot. And so, like, his actions are... Like, I can... They're understandable, you know? I threw myself into my studies and later into my work. It worked to numb the pain of Joy's death. I'm not sure why I'm telling you all this, but thanks for listening. Oh, he feels close to us. I'm happy he does because we really need him to... I don't know, like, I want him to, like, even, like, all, like, romantic drama aside and, like, sizzling life. But just... I feel they have, like, a cute little moment together. I'll always be here to listen when you want to talk. Plus, I want our character to prove to James that, like, cheerleaders... And, like, popular kids in high school aren't always, like, those evil, freaking disgusting rats that, like, drove his sister to suicide. Mayfair speaking. Oh, so we got a phone call. Okay, so... I also... It's not in here because... I'll be right there. So, he's a detective or whatnot. So, the chapter title is, like, called, like, Face Found or something like that. So, I'm nervous. Listen, I have to go. But I can't let you walk home by yourself. It's all right. I can walk home. It's not that far. No, it's not safe. Come on, I'll send you home. But we'll have to make a detour first. I have to stop by the crime scene. My partner just called. She's already there waiting for me. Are you all right? You're shivering. Oh, I was honestly wondering, y'all. Like, okay, now I'm going to lie. Like, the screen got, like, really dim or something. And I was like, what's going on? It's chilly here with the sun setting. Are you cold here? Take my jacket. Oh, he's such a gentleman and so sweet. That's so sweet of him. All his colleagues, including his partner, will see me wearing it. Ah. Okay, not even going to lie, y'all. Like, I'm not going to, like... <laughs> I'm okay if you're sure, shall we? Like, he's he's gonna have to just keep it. We can turn on the heater. The horror of James Story rocked me to the core. I was shocked by the kind of cruelty that those girls possessed. That could lead a person to hurt another person like that. Like, words freaking hurt. Like, poor Joy. I feel so bad. <gasps> okay, we're here. So we're in like a swamp looking thing. Listen, this might take a while. Stay in the car, please. Where were we? We were parked on the edge of a forest. Okay, was, was that? <gasps> no, I knew it. That's a body. That's a body. Okay, stay in the car. Get out of the car. Honestly, let's, I, I we need a closer look. I'm not going to not see it. Just get out of the car. Screw this. Yes, girl, go look. Estimated time of death. She's been dead roughly 24 hours. Shortly after she went missing then. Foul play. For cynics, we need to confirm, but the marks around her neck. She was strangled to death. Oh, I thought I told you to stay in the car. Who are you? It's, I knew it, I knew it. Oh my gosh, it's Faye. It's her, Faye, she's, Faye is dead. Come on, I'll take you home. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all, Faye is dead. I obviously had a sneaking suspicion, especially considering the story, and it's like more of like a thriller story that people were gonna like be dropping, but it's crazy, Faye, is we actually have confirmation that she is dead. She's literally strangled in a forest, which it's like, so she was strangled, so someone killed her. They offed her, so it's like, who would do that? It's kind of crazy, especially, there's a drama with our friends, so, okay, I know this is, like, off topic, but let's go over some evidence real quick. So, someone also, like, spread our secret to the school, which is very suspicious, and then also we found out James hates cheerleaders, 
but he likes us. So, oh my gosh, like, I don't know what to think right now. Like, obviously, I feel we don't have enough evidence or anything yet to, like, put together who it could be by chance, but... I'm thinking it's either one of the girls on the cheer squad and or it's possibly James. Although, even though James has like the hatred for cheerleaders, I feel that could be trying to get us to think it could be him eventually, but he cares so much for us. But it could be that plot twist. I completely just kind of like burped mid like plot twist talking. I'm so sorry. But anyway, I don't really know who it could be. I still think it's one of the girls. I think it's one of the girls. I could be mistaken, though, because, like, they just, like, often member of their cheer team. Like, why would you? Like, unless there's more to Faye's story, then we don't know. We'll find out now that Faye has passed away. But I can't believe someone's actually passed away. This has me shook, especially because it's like, are other people gonna go? Oh my gosh. This story is crazy. I am loving these thrillers now that we're doing this one, The Infected. I have probably add some more. Maybe I'll add some, like, thriller-esque games in it. If there's any, like, scary games that, like, you guys really want me to see me play, like, let me know in, like, the comments below, because I would love to start doing some, like, horror stories just for fun. Like, I'll record them at night, and we'll have the, like, lights off or something. We'll make it, like, fun. But anyway, I really, really hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I hope to see you next time. I completely just banged my keyboard in the middle of that. But anyway, bye, everyone. Yeah, she's serving with a smile. They can't